we just made it to Jerome and we thought that on a Monday it wasn't going to be busy. We were kind of surprised. Hey friends, we just wanted to say hi really quickly before we kick off this next couple of vlogs. We're really excited, today's a special day. It's my favorite person in the world's birthday, so Yay. happy birthday to Nicole. And this is a really exciting time for us because we've been together for right around nine years, and in that entire time, we have not had a trip with just the two of us. We've had a couple of times where we've stayed somewhere for one night alone, but this has been the first time that we've been able to actually have some time with just the two of us. And we get a whole week. Really big appreciation to my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, thank you so much for coming out from California and for staying. And also, yeah. also thank you to Paisley, our daughter, for being okay with us being gone for five days. Hopefully you didn't do anything you're not supposed to do. We'll find out. <laughs> but as I mentioned, today's Nicole's birthday. So we are on our way up to spend five nights in one campground. It's gonna be our first thousand trails experience. So we will do a campground review and we're also gonna be exploring some of the area around there and spending as much time as we can just relaxing and not just go, go, go. But we're actually off for a week. We're just gonna spend time enjoying as much as we can. Yes. So that's it for now. We will see you tomorrow morning where we are going to be exploring the town of Jerome, Arizona, which is known as... The wickedest town in the West. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Did you have a good birthday? I had a great birthday. It's nice we had no issues getting to the campground yesterday. For those of you that, in, that have been watching, like the last couple of videos, we've been like, hey, we went to the campground and on the way, we went camping and on the way, we had this happen and this happen. No issues this time. Everything worked great. Setup went easily. And then last night, we, we didn't even have to worry about dinner because although it was Nicole's birthday, she was sweet enough to say that we could have leftovers for dinner so last night was really just sit back relax and enjoy being outside and today we've had a pretty slow start which has also been nice and kind of walked around there's a river um, and a small actual flowing waterfall behind kind of the where our campground area is at so that's pretty cool we went and visited that now we're off to go visit jerome which is an old mining town that's built on the side of a hill kind of cool and over time gravity has made some of the buildings slide we've been there once before and it was a lot of fun we're excited to go back and share it with you but in true fashion we forgot stuff <laughs> So first, we need to A, find cell phone service because with Verizon, we have nothing out here. And B, we need to go find a Walmart or Target. So next time you'll see us, we will be in Jerome. Here we go. We just made it to Jerome and we thought that on a Monday, it wasn't gonna be busy. We were kind of surprised because that's one of the parking lots. This is where we're parked. So apparently a Monday in October is still a really popular. Don't really have anywhere pressing to be, so we're gonna go and see what our lunch options are. And if anything, at least we can kill some time looking around this cute little town while we wait. Kids, we know that your parents always tell you that you can't have dessert until after you've had lunch. However, when you walk by a store that smells like fudge and or kettle corn and you're hungry, you go inside. I got a mint dark chocolate truffle. And I got a rum dark truffle. And before lunch, we decided that why not? We'll do a little shot, so. Vacation. It's 
good. It's really good. Now we, now we really do need some lunch. <laughs> well, we thought that getting something to eat for lunch was going to be easy, but we were not really tracking that today, this Monday, is Indigenous People Day. So it's pretty busy here. We walked around for a while and ended up just finishing lunch at the Bordello of Jerome, which claims to have unique food and drinks. It's tasty. It was tasty. I had a burger. I had a gyro. And it was good, really small. I think there was probably like maybe six tables in there. It was really good. And the thing that I thought was the coolest thing is that right inside they had a license for prostitution signed by none other than Wyatt Earp, big Western history buff. I really loved that. So if no one else cares, that's fine. But I thought I'd share it with you. Now we're gonna go walk this awesome food off because we still have more of the day and more sights to see. So behind us is the old Barlett Hotel. It's crazy to imagine whenever you see this that like there used to be a really highly decorated fancy hotel because now it's all in ruins. But it is really cool that they've preserved it. It's kind of interesting. They've got some toilets and some other things at the bottom that you can target practice. <laughs> you can target practice with uh, coins. I don't know how often anybody goes down in there to empty it, but it's kind of cool that uh, can come in and gaze into the subfloor of this old fancy hotel and throw coins in the toilets. So where else can you do that, Jerome? <laughs> up to pretty much the top of Jerome. It's pretty steep. I don't know if you've been able to tell from just any of the videos or anything else, but it's definitely, it's really cool how the roads just switch back and forth. The town is definitely in the side of the mountain and goes down. But we came up here to the Jerome Grand Hotel, which was originally opened up in 1927 by the mining company that's out here. And when it was built, it was the fourth hospital in Jerome. And it continued to operate as a hospital until the 1950s, when Jerome itself kind of, the mining boom died out and people left. And then in 1994, someone from the mining company bought the old hospital. And renovated it and turned it into a hotel. It's been operating as a hotel ever since then. And I thought another thing was really cool is that the original person that bought it in 1994 is still the owner. And they've been able to successfully keep an operation running. But Jerome is a pretty cool town. There's a lot of people that just visit because of its uniqueness and history. history. It is definitely an eclectic, neat little town with tricky parking. <laughs> But it has some really awesome old architecture, some cute, unique shops, amazing scenery and views. And speaking of views, let's go see some. The views from up here are really awesome. It's super cool to be able to look out into the distance. It just gives a, a really cool different perspective to be able to look out and see for several miles. So now it's time to climb down the mountain and find some wine. So here we go. So behind us, that is the infamous Jerome Sliding Jail. So when you mine, obviously you go in the ground and take ground out. A lot of the old mining tunnels were under the surface of the town. Over the years, the town had been shifting, including the jail. And apparently the jail used to be over that way. Up. And then slid down, slid down, and then it sat in the middle of the road, right up on top here. And the road was built around the jail or improved around the jail so that people could continue to traffic. And I guess eventually, once probably once cars got bigger than what they were back in the 60s, they decided to just push the jail down here and this is where it sat since then. But it's cool that it's again been preserved all this time and just kind of interesting to think that like the jail slid, ended up in the middle of the road and they were just like, eh, we'll build a road around it, it'll be fine. We are a little bummed out though, because when we came here last time, there was a super cool winery. With an amazing view. Had these giant, this ginormous 
floor to ceiling windows that just looked out over the valley. And it looks like it's no longer a winery and now it's a arts for animals museum or shop. And we like art and we like animals, but right now we really want wine. So we're gonna go find a winery and do some wine tasting and then head back to our trailer. I mean, we don't need ice cream. No one ever needs ice cream. We have plenty of snacks and stuff out. And we're back. When we were up in Jerome on Monday, since we got here at about noon, although it's a small town with all the walking around and stuff, before we knew it, it was four o'clock. And one of the main things that we wanted to see was the Jerome State Historic Park, which closes at four. So incidentally, we didn't visit on Monday, but since we are on vacation for a whole week, we were able to take today as kind of a easy day. And we are standing outside of the Douglas Mansion, which is now the Jerome State Historic Park. We really enjoyed our wine tasting on Monday. The place we went to is called Called Jerome's original winery. Come to find out that was the same winery we had visited last time we were in town. They had just changed locations. It was good to know that they were still in business and it was cool just to hang out. Yeah, it was a good time. I really do enjoy museums and learning about stuff. And here at the Douglas Mansion, they've done a really good job preserving a lot of the relics of that time. It was neat to see some of the rooms set up, um, possibly how they were set up back in its use. And they had a lot of neat artifacts from over the past hundred years. Yeah, it was. it's just really cool. And speaking of which, let's go inside and we'll show you around. Just like the last time we were here, the museum did not disappoint at all. It was super cool. There's so many different exhibits, both inside and outside. Outside had, of course, more of the large mining equipment. equipment. Yeah. It's just crazy that that stuff used to just run constantly out here. Well, not out here. Under here? Under here. <laughs> and, went, and went on for years. Well, we've really enjoyed our time in Jerome. This is definitely one of those cute, quaint, quirky towns that if you're going to be in the area, if you're going to be visiting Sedona, definitely take the extra 45 minutes and come out here, spend a couple hours out here, visit some of the local galleries and the little knickknack shops, the historical places. It's a really cool place. Mm -hmm. So if you've enjoyed exploring Jerome with us, go ahead and smash that like button and make sure that you're subscribed so that way you can follow along with us on future adventures. We're grateful for all of you that have subscribed already. It's crazy that one person wants to follow along on our adventures and watch the things that we put together. And it's even more amazing that now over 150 of you have taken time out of your day to follow along with us and watch. So we really greatly appreciate it. And hopefully we can continue to bring great content. And why don't you go ahead and let us know in the comments what your favorite video that we've put out to date has been because we love hearing from you and connecting with everybody and getting to know each other as we continue on this life and adventure. Thanks so much and we'll see you guys next time. See you later. about the closest you can get to actually flying, I feel.